We do have the prospect on the Wednesday of Royal Ascot of Her Majesty the Queen looking down from the Royal Box on a winner in her own colours. Carlton House represents her in the Prince of Wales' stakes and he's trained by Sir Michael Stout. What was the reason for him not racing at the end of last year? Well, after the Irish Derby, we weren't happy with his action. He was a bit jarred up, jammed up, and we then were happy that we had got him right and prepared him for the champion stakes. I'd say about 10 days before the champion, we were again not happy with his movement. So he's had a good break and came back 11 months later, and it was a satisfactory return at Sandown in the Brigadier Gerard. We were concerned that there wouldn't be much pace, and he was race fresh, and he did do a little too much. Um, it was a solid performance. He's, you know, he's now got to go forward. I believe you were heard to say after the Brigadier Gerard that he won't run any mile and a half races, at least this year. What, what's the thinking behind that? Well, we we think that he's better at ten furlongs. Um, he actually has got a, a um, arc entry, but at the moment we would certainly want to be not going beyond ten. Everyone always talks about your reputation with older horses. Uh, does or did Carlton House offer you the signs that he would improve with time? Well, he's a lightly raced horse, you know, um, just because of circumstance. So you would hope that, yeah, he would improve again this year. Uh, the way that he does the job seems very professional. In terms of his attitude, are you, are you happy with the way he does things? He's got a great attitude. I mean, you look back to the Dante, um, uh, he, his th third time on a race course, he came through a very narrow gap there. Sand down the other night, he really wanted it. In the derby, he wanted it, but nothing went right, including the build-up, you know, during that week when we had big problems with him. Then he, you know, he didn't jump very well, and then he got messed about with some no-hopers and got v pushed very wide. He ran a big race in the derby. He, he's very honest. Well, this time last year, all the talk in racing was about Carlton House mm. and he'd run extremely well in the derby. Is there a possibility that he's been slightly overrated? Possibly. I, I, I wonder whether the middle distance three-year-olds of last year were all that, really. Um, he ran really well in the derby and the Irish derby, always suggesting that 10 furlongs would be his trip. He ran well, winning the Brigadier Gerard on his seasonal debut, not beating much, but doing it stylishly. And this is his chance to prove that 10 furlongs is, is his metier. I think, Steve, that that's going to be the key for him this year, that uh, he's got a lot of entries in top-class races over 10 furlongs. He actually had an entry in the Queen Anne Stakes over a mile. Yeah, I think shorter trips will be his bag. I feel pretty confident about that. Uh, I just where he is and what he is, I just don't know really. He's very good, but whether he's absolutely top class, at the moment he hasn't proved it. This is a good opportunity for him. This is, this is his day to prove that he's uh, as good as, in some ways, the hype suggested. Sirius de Zagel is proven here over the course and distance. He won the champion stakes uh, last year and he's still gone on to prove that that was no fluke, which some people thought at the time it may have been. I've got to put my hands up here because I underestimated him prior to the champion stakes last year. I think he did prove himself to be the best 10 furlong horse, probably, probably in the world, at the end of, of last season. That is a position he's maintained so far. I think you can throw out the last race. I thought it was a, a fast over a trip that's probably a little bit too short for him and wasn't run to suit. He sets the standard. So you think at one point last season looked as if he was going to be the horse who would dominate over 10 furlongs, Steve. I thought a little bit disappointing towards the end of last year and certainly in Dubai. Yeah, I thought he'd showed himself consistently to be just below the very, very best. Very good, very cons consistently won the clips, but just below the very, very best. But there was something about his win on his reappearance. I know it was a race he should have won, but. Uh, I thought it was really impressive there. I just wonder if this is now going to be his time. Planter was fourth on the Prince of Wales's last year when he was trained by Elie Lelouch. He's now with new market trainer Marco Botti. He's a proper horse, you know, just he, he knows he's good. <laughs> Physically, I think he's, um, he's done so well. Uh, in Dubai, I don't know if you saw him before the race, he was really, got really warm and a little bit wound up. In France, it was a completely different horse, chilled out. And since he, he ran, actually, I think he's, he has improved again. So the, the horse was both uh, with the Dubai World Cup in mind. Um, obviously, the former was solid the last year, and um, 
he was a good horse. I mean, he won, he won, uh, he was impressive when he won the Prix de Ligani. Um, then he probably lost his form uh, um, the last two run, uh, whether it was the, the ground uh, or the drop back to mile, uh, I'm not sure. However, uh, he, you know, since he arrived, uh, we always thought he, he has a lot of class and uh, obviously looks a strong colt and um, we've been happy with him. Would he represent the best chance you've ever had at Royal Ascot? Well, uh, he, I would say yes, because the celebration uh, uh, in the St. James Palace last year, uh, we, we went there uh, hoping to win. Uh, um, but then uh, against Franco, uh, we, we knew <laughs> um, we could probably could run a good race and finish second or third. Uh, so that's, that's what happened. And so um, I think he, he's probably yeah, my best chance at uh, the Royal Ask. I'm going for Carlton House to win the Prince of Wales at stakes. I think 10 furlongs will be his best trip and I think he's open to a lot of improvement over that distance. I'm going to go for Sirius Desagle. He proved last season that he's the boss over this trip and I think he still is. I'm going for So You Think. I just have a feeling his winning Ireland last time out showed him to be his absolute best. I just have a sneak, he'll, uh, he'll be good enough.